Hi, my name's Alan Stagg and I'm here today uh, to film for Enterprise Tackle. Uh, we're here at Johnson's Lake targeting big cruising carp. And by when I mean big cruising carp, we're looking for fish over three pounds for the cameras. Um, I've had fish uh, to just over four pounds from the Marsh Farm complex next door. Um, but we're on here today trying to bag a real whacker. Um, so I'm just going to show you some of my top tips and tricks to target big cruisings. Now I'm in peg 32. Um, I've got shallow water out in front. Um, the cruisings sort of get up here in the spring when the water temperatures are on the rise and it's a great place to fish. Now just going to run you through my tackle and tactics. And we're just in there. Just gone through that tackle bit and we've had a take. It, not sure whether it's a tent or a cruising yet, but it's certainly pulling back. It's kited quite left of the swim, so we're just trying to pump it back steady. This one's fallen for one of the small pellets in one of the Enterprise corn skins again. Okay, we were just in the bite, we were just talking through the, the tackle and tactics there and the rod screened off. I was hoping it would be a cruising, but it's quite a nice tent, so we'll just get her out and we're on hooker for you. Okay, not a bad tent, just a nice male there. Gonna slip this nice tench back. We were after cruisings, but can't really be disappointed with a nice tench like that. Cracking bite, really nice fight, so proves the rig works and we're just gonna slip her back. Well I just got interrupted by that nice tench in that last shot, so I'll carry on going for all my uh, tackle. Um, I just got to the rod part then. These are uh, my favourite rods for cruising fishing and, and using flatbed method feeders um, are these pound um, core and precision rods. Um, they're nice through action and what's more important about them is they've got a really forgiving tip. So when I'm using light hooks and hook links like I'm using today, um, I know that they're not going to break or the hooks are going to open out. Nice forgiving rod. Um, moving through, we've got the main line, we've got a six pound hydroflow main line on here. Um, I don't really want to go any lighter than that for the stresses and strains of, of casting out those feeders uh, quite regularly, so they're ideal. And then if I do hook any road carp that tend to come across the big beds of ground bait, then I've got a good chance of getting them in. Okay, my reels, um, I prefer bait runner style reels for this sort of style of fishing. Um, dead easy to use and I tend to set the bait runner facility on them quite light. Um, if you set them too, too high up, I find that if you get like a tench pick up the bait, a carp or a cruise that goes a little bit wild, um, it, they can snap you on the take. So I tend to set these really light. Uh, moving up my bobbins, I've got some small nano bug bobbins here, uh, just right for this style of fishing, nice and light. And they're not gonna be too heavy that once you set them, they're gonna move the feeder at all once it's settled on the lake bottom. And then my, my alarms and my trusty Gardener TLBs, uh, nice simple alarms and they've never let me down. So that's my cruise and fishing tackle for Johnson. Well, I'm just going to talk you through my approach to cruising carp fishing. A lot of people think that it's, they're a delicate kind of species, float fishing in the edge. Well, I'm a completely opposite on this lake, and I like to attack my swim as much as possible. I like to feed them really heavy, 
Today I've got a mix of ground bait. This is just uh, fish meal type ground bait. It's Sonny Bakes F1 and Super Crush Green Mix 50-50. And as you can see that there's hardly any feed items in there. All I've done is add a sprinkling of two mil pellets and, and that's it. It's a really smelly fishy ground bait with loads of attraction in there, but I don't want to feed the fish. All I want to do is create a massive bed of attraction and then for them to home in on the hook bait. Now, going on the amount of feed that I, I introduced to the swim, I like to really like to attack it and I like to be aggressive. Um, I'm not scared of putting in you know, half a bucket of what we've got here for starters and, and continually top up the swim throughout the day depending on the action. Um, I like to spot every now and again, especially if the fish are in the swim over the top of them. Um, I find it really, really works and also spotting over the top but without any loose feed and spot, just getting the fish to come to the sound, that works really well. So. That's my attack to cruising carp fishing. Fish aggressive, fish positively, and the rewards will come. Right, I've got a three pronged attack here for fishing for these big cruisions. Um, the first one is these pellet skins from Enterprise. I really like these, they're quite visual. And the idea basically is, is, is it's a, a corn skin that you plug with bait in the end of it. Now you can put loads of different things in these like pellets, boilies, paste. I quite like these little six mil pellets, they fit really nice in the back of these. Now the good thing about these corn skins is they grip these hook baits really really well so it makes threading on these little pellets that can be kind of fiddly or split really easy and it also makes it quick so if you've got a, a shoulder cruisions or tent chat in your swim then it makes rebaiting an absolute doddle. Now the second attack is these tiny little pieces of sinking corn, nice and visual Everyone knows that Crucians and Tench love little pieces of corn, so this is a real good attack as well. Now we all know as well that plastic takes on flavour well, so you can add things like tutti frutti or sweeteners such as beetle in just to give them an extra boost. But yeah, Crucians love corn, so definitely worth a try. Right, my third approach today is a simple pellet setup. So what we've got here is we've got a 35 gram uh, flatbed method feeder which the hook link is just attached by a little loop here to some housing. Then we've got a short four inch hook link um, and this is five pound fluorocarbon and I've just got a fine uh, size 16 uh, fine wire matric on the end. So we're just going to pop a pellet on the hair. I've caught loads of cruisions using this tactic as well as the other two. They definitely seem to like these fish meal baits at the moment. So simple as that. And then all I'm going to use is one of the one of the moulds like we've got here. And that's the ground bait mix I showed you earlier. And I'm just going to tip some of that out. I'm going to place the hook bait in the bottom, like so. Cover it with a layer of ground bait. and push it on top and that's just going to form the casing and there you go that's all ready to be cast out now and I'll, as you can see I've buried my hook bait in the feed um, I tend to start off like this and, and see what's happening on, on the day um, but generally I always start off with the hook bait buried in the feeder
Now, just going to get her on the scales and we're going to give her a number. Well, this is definitely the one we've been waiting for. Weighs three pound, 14 ounces. Well, here we are. It's been a really tough day today. We've had to work really hard for this, but I'm really pleased with this one. 314, an absolute beast of a cruising carp.